Hello, friends! This is Kyle from Genki Gamers, and today we're going to go over everything you need to know to start playing the Fixer. As with my other ship guides, this guide will be focused on Fixer players in the Mark 1 to Mark 4 range that are trying to step up their game and optimize their play. Overview The Fixer is the healer of the team and the only ship that can equip green healing items. As a Fixer, your goal is to keep your teammates alive so that your team can trade damage with your opponents until you end up victorious. The Fixer only holds one weapon slot until you reach Mark 6, so you really won't be dealing any meaningful damage in a fight, but that's okay, because your primary focus should be on keeping your teammates alive. Although the Fixer is not the kind of ship that can take over a game and carry the team on its own, it is probably the best ship when it comes to reaching a higher infamy than the other ships with similar item levels. The reason for this is that teams with a fixer have a great advantage over teams that don't have a fixer, and by playing fixer yourself, you guarantee that your team will have that reliable source of healing. A drawback of the fixer is that you need to rely on your teammates to deal most of the damage, which is something outside of your control. Despite that drawback, the fixer is a very good choice for any player that wants to climb up to a higher rank than they could achieve with the other ships. As a fixer, you should be spending most of your time in the back behind your teammates and focus on providing healing for the team. Dealing damage is not nearly as helpful as keeping your teammates alive. Don't waste all your time chasing down faster teammates. Instead, you should keep the healing up for teammates that choose to stick around you and let your faster teammates that really need healing come back to you. Although keeping your teammates alive should be one of your top goals, it is typically far more important to keep yourself alive even if it means abandoning your low health teammates to get yourself to safety. As long as you stay alive, you will be able to heal yourself back up and continue helping the rest of your team. With that said, in certain situations it may be necessary to move forward and take some damage for your teammates if your health is high and they're about to go down, but you should never be sacrificing yourself for a teammate unless you and your teammate are the last players left on your team. There are currently three green items in the game. First, you have the Repair Pulse, which heals yourself and the teammates that are near you when you activate it. You do not need to stay near the person you healed for the effect to continue as long as they were near you when you first activated it. The second green item for fixers are Repair Boxes. You can either throw these boxes directly on top of your teammates that need a quick heal, or you can leave them in a safe spot to the side for them to pick up later. Leave a bunch of these around at the beginning of the match for your teammates to pick up if they need them. Keep in mind that enemies that grab your boxes will remove them from the map, so place them in areas that can be protected by your team. Duct tape allows you to heal yourself at a much faster rate than either the repair pulse or the repair boxes. However, it doesn't bring any healing to your teammates, so players generally don't recommend using it in the current state of the game. Item choices At Mark 1, the fixer has one red, blue, and green item slot. Go ahead and stick a cannon, standard shield, and a green item of your choice on your fixer. The best green item to use is the Repair Pulse, which heals both yourself and your teammates over time. At this level, item choices are not too important, so just focus on improving your fundamentals, such as landing your shots on your enemies and keeping yourself healthy. At Mark 2, you gain your first yellow item slot. The best yellow item for the fixer is Overboost, because it helps you quickly get to your teammates to provide support. It also helps you get away from enemies that are trying to take you out first. If you don't have Overboost, you can also use Nitro or Frost Blaster, but you really want to start using Overboost as soon as you can. For your blue item, the best items to use are the Standard Shield and the Turbo. I personally recommend the Standard Shield because keeping yourself alive is one of the key goals of playing Fixer. Opponents will often choose to target you first, so the shield can help you stay alive longer. If you do use the shield, the best perk to use with it is the Shield Defense perk, which adds to your defense stat. Each point of defense reduces the damage you take from each hit by one point. The reason to use the defense perk over the health perk is that defense scales more efficiently with health, and as a fixer, you are already adding a lot of health back anyways. If you rather use the turbo, that's fine too. The turbo can help you get to your teammates quicker to heal them up before they get shot down. The extra speed from the turbo can also help you avoid damage by moving out of enemy fire. The bandage is not a good item for the fixer because you already have a lot of healing in the green items that you use, and the bandage takes a long time to be effective. If you do survive long enough for the bandage to be useful, you probably already healed yourself back to full health from your items anyways. 
When you hit Mark 3, you unlock a second green item slot, which really allows you to move into your true role of healing the team. The two best green items to use are the Repair Pulse paired with a Repair Box Launcher. This combination gives you a good mix of being able to heal teammates around you and being able to leave boxes for your teammates to pick up when they're not in the position to come back to you. Take this time to improve your box throwing aim as placing the box right on top of your teammates will save them from awkwardly wasting time trying to turn and grab the box. Finally, at Mark 4, you gain a second blue item slot. If you've been using the standard shield up to this point, you may want to mix things up by adding a turbo to your loadout to give you that extra mobility. There really aren't any other blue items that are viable on the fixer besides the turbo or standard shield, so I personally recommend that you stick with those. So, what weapons are good on fixers? Although this question is definitely up to debate, many fixer players have moved towards high damage weapons with long cooldowns, such as a sniper, explosive cannon, or railgun. The long cooldown of these weapons doesn't affect your play too much because your primary focus should be on using your healing items anyways. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like below and subscribe for more Battle Bay videos. Bye friends!